Hi there, I'm Noah, filmmaker of Love Notes to Newton, the documentary about a little little known, very misunderstood little green Apple computer. And I'm going to show you how to get the Newton operating system running on your iPhone. In this case, an iPhone XR or 10R. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to open up the App Store and the first thing you're going to want to do is to download Xcode. You will need Xcode. So it's a free download. Go ahead and download that if you haven't already. I've already got it, so I'm just going to close this. And then next, you're going to want to head over to GitHub, and the address is going to be github.com slash pgoyo slash Einstein. I'll put that in the notes. If you look down here, you can see kind of a little who's who of uh, famous Newton fans who've worked on this. Uh, the emulator, Einstein, was created by a guy named Paul Guillot, and um, he's kind of the brains behind it, but uh, the current kind of custodian is uh, Matthias Melcher. And uh, all of these people, though, have committed uh, important work to the repository. So go ahead and download that zip file, and then you can just quit out of here. I'm going to put this on the desktop so I know where to find it. Open that up, and the place you're going to want to look for the Xcode file is in the build folder. Open up the Xcode, and then the project is right there. Great. Let's trust it and open. Perfect. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is switch over into iOS Einstein, because we're building for iOS here, not for Mac. And uh, you're going to want to do this in two places. You want to do it here too. Just head over to signing and capabilities and this is where you have to enter your developer account. I don't have a paid developer account, just a free developer account. And that is part of the reason why I'm going to use Alt Store later on. So I put in my unique identifier here. Select my team here again. Put in my unique identifier. Head up to product, and we're going to want to set our destination to any iOS device. Great. We're ready to build. So this will take a little bit of time. Ask you for your password. There we go. Build succeeded. Let's go to product and show build folder in FindR so we can find our build folder and the build we just made. Now pay attention. This is the important bit. We have this file iOS Einstein, which is uh, in the build folder here. And it is, if you take a look down here, it is a .app file. That is not going to work for us. We need it to be a .ipa in order to install it using Alt Store. So there's a little trick here. Make a new folder and change the title of this folder to payload. Get your .app file and put it into the payload folder and right-click, compress the payload folder. Great, we have a zip file, and uh, we're gonna rename that just so that I don't forget what it is. iOS Einstein. Now, this is the important part. Instead of zip, we're gonna change it to a .ipa file, yes, I'm sure. And this is the package that we need for Alt Store. I'm going to pop it over onto my iCloud Drive because that's an easy way to share between my Apple devices. And off it goes. Okay, so I'm going to use Alt Store to sideload my Einstein app onto my phone. I, I like Alt Store because you don't have to have like a professional developer account uh, in order to have your apps not expire. So basically if you have a, a free developer account with Apple, your apps expire every seven days. Alt Store updates them so that uh, they don't expire. And plus you can sideload apps onto there from pretty much anywhere if you want to. Okay, so head over to altstore.io. We're gonna use Alt Store to install our .ipa file. Download from Mac OS if you're on a Mac. I'm gonna put this on the desktop. And you can get rid of that web page. Great, it's a simple application file. I'm just gonna put it over here into the applications folder so that I can easily find it.
There we go. Alt server. Open that up. You will find it on the top menu bar. So first thing to do is to install the mail plugin. This uh, is how the certificates get onto your phone. Great, that's installed. Next thing to do, you just wanna make sure that you have your plugins enabled in mail preferences. Great, that's ready to go. Now we're ready to install Alt Store. So King Solomon is my iPhone XR or 10R. Go ahead and put in your developer account one more time and hit install. Okay, over here on the iPhone, let's head over to the settings app. And you're gonna to wanna to go to general and scroll down to VPN and device management. There you'll find the certificate. You have to click on it and click trust. Good to go, except there's one more thing we need to do, which is enable developer mode, which is new for iOS 16. So scroll down in the security and privacy settings and you'll find developer mode, which you're gonna to wanna to turn on. And at this point, your phone will restart and ask you again if you wanna turn it on. And of course you will put in your passcode and there you go. Alt store is in your apps, top left corner there. Now hit my apps and hit the little plus sign. And remember how we saved that file in iCloud Drive? We're gonna head over to iCloud Drive and there it is, ioseinstein.ipa. We're gonna click on that. And after a short interlude, you'll have to enter your developer info again. And here's a really good explanation of how Alt Store works and why you'd want to use it. Apps refresh automatically. That's pretty much the whole thing. All right, there we go. iOS Einstein is ready to go, except when we open it, it wants a ROM file. I can't tell you where to get this, but I'm sure you will find it. Next, you want to take your iPhone and plug in the cable. Where's the cable? All right, and we head back to Finder and select King Solomon, which is my iPhone XR. And in the apps under the files menu, you'll see iOS Einstein. And hey, there's nothing in it. So let's just bring in that ROM file we mentioned. And hey, it's there. Now that you've got the ROM file in there, Einstein will start up and you'll see the light bulb logo and the whole setup screen for Newton OS. Congratulations, you've got Newton OS running on your iPhone XR. This same process works really on any iPhone or on any iPad for that matter. Long live Newton. I love how it just recognizes those words. Now, you might notice that it doesn't quite take up the whole screen. You can improve it a bit by heading over into settings, scroll down to the Einstein section, and choose a different resolution setting. It's not perfect, but It'll make it a little more usable. Maybe, since you have the code anyway, you could add in your own resolutions. Not sure. One thing you might want to do is to set both Alt Store and Mail to start up when you start your computer. This computer's on all the time for me, but if there was a power outage or something like that and it came back on after, I would want it to start by opening mail and alt store because uh, alt store runs in the background and it validates your apps on your phone. If you have just a free account, your apps expire every seven days and this is a good workaround. So if you're used to an Android or an iOS device um, from today, this might look a little simplistic to you, but I think what you have to remember is that a lot of the ideas that we take for granted today were kind of conceptualized during this time. And there's a lot of ideas in here which still don't have an analog or not a very good analog in today's devices. And maybe I'll make another video on that sometime if people are interested. That's it. I hope you got Einstein running on your Apple device. And if you want to learn more about Newton, you can check out my film. And uh, keep the green.